Hi, I'm Scott Patrick with a preview of new and returning shows coming to ABC Friday nights this fall. In a couple of minutes, we'll check in with the new sci-fi series, Marvel's Inhumans. But first, the seventh season of the audience favorite, Once Upon a Time. Lana Perea has played Regina Mills, also known as the Evil Queen, since the very beginning. And our Jessica York talked to her about what's new in Lucky Season number seven. Welcome to Storybook, Marion. Don't you tell me what I do or don't understand. I need my mirror. <sighs> There's someone standing in the way of my happiness. I need your help getting rid of them. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Show me who I want to kill most of all. So once upon a time, there was this show about fairy tales that went to season seven. Congratulations. Thank you so much. When you've been on since the beginning, when you signed on, did I'm you expect <laughs> season seven? No, I I didn't. I, I always thought we would just do six seasons, but um, this is amazing. Like, I'm so grateful. Uh, we have a lot of new stories that we're telling, mm -hmm. and it has a whole different vibe to it. We're now Friday nights, mm -hmm. which I think gives us a little more room to kind of try new things as well, and maybe it can be a bit darker. Um, even visually, it looks a little different. Okay. So um, That plays well with your character. The yes. The darker side. Yes. yes. <laughs> now, yes. Um, in the, the realm of Once Upon a Time, who is the baddest apple of the bunch? Is it you or maybe the new witch that will be in um, season seven or Rumpelstiltskin? Well, I feel like Rumpelstiltskin's always like <laughs> up to no good. And he's, you know, he's always meddling and he's always, he always has his hands in something and you don't really know what is going on. He has a lot of secrets. Um, my character has evolved so much over the years. You know, I for the first few seasons, I, I played this horrible villain for so long and then um, she starts to evolve and then we got to experience the evil queen in flashbacks so you got to still you still got that you know the delicious villain that and people love the evil queen so she's still she's still there but um, in this new chapter or new book um, we are in Hyperion Heights in Seattle uh, we are cursed and we don't know who we are and so my character isn't even named Regina Oh, this is big. Mm -hmm. Okay, so t introduce us to the well, new... I can't tell you who okay. she is. I can kind of tease, mm -hmm. but I can't tell you her name. But she is a bar owner, so she works behind a bar. And okay. she has curly hair. She's out of the pantsuits. Um, I'm in leopard belts and jeans and cool, you know, rock t-shirts. So you've gotten a royal makeover. Completely. For season seven. I think, yeah, I think she's kind of maybe stepped down a little bit. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she doesn't feel like the queen, but she seems like a little more grounded, a little more kind of easy to get along with. Um, she's not very, you know, she's still sassy and she still has her, that spice, but um, she's just a different woman. Maybe. Maybe not. What is it like playing out some of these fairy tales that we've all grown up with? Because I think it's, it, this is such a smart show. It is, it, it's fun. It's a lot of fun to be able to tell these stories that have been around for so long um, and they're loved. I mean, you know, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, it's like it's your classic Disney story. And it's been great. I remember when I first got it, I thought, well, this is really different. And I get to play the evil queen. I never saw myself as, as the evil queen. I never played a villain before in my entire career. So this was really new for me. Um, but I love what we're able to do with these characters. And you know that's the beauty about television because you have so much time to tell these stories. So these characters have time to develop and evolve. And mine has really you know, turned around for the better, I think. Mm -hmm. She's grown up quite a bit. You have done a really good job of showing a vulnerable side to the evil queen that it's like, even though she does, in some seasons, has done some really bad things, there's still an element that you're somewhat rooting for her, 
you know, to, to yeah. stay with the good. I know a lot of people forget that she slaughtered villages and right. village <laughs> after village after village and hurt a lot of people. But I think why she's so compelling is because she's always trying to be better. And, you know, there's a lot of remorse. She's made amends over the years. She's She even split herself. And I was last season in a lot of scenes with myself as the evil queen and Mayor Regina. She really you know, got to this place where she really just accepted who she was and embraced both parts of her, which was a very inspiring message to put out there. A lot of us try to suppress the things that we don't necessarily like, and Regina was able to embrace it um, and, and work with it and found peace, and that was really cool. And so I don't think we're going to see the two Reginas uh, in a face-off anymore, but, um, but we will see this new Regina um, sort of discovering, you know, this world that she's in and the people around her. And um, it's fun. There's Henry, who's now a man. She gets to see Henry, and she hasn't seen him in all these years. And when she sees him, he's a man. And that's very jarring for her. So it's I'm learning how to sort of work with now this man, Andrew West, and, you know, and it, Jared and I have known each other. So I've known him since he was 10. So it's, it's, it's really cool. It's a little bit of like life imitating art. I'm getting used to him, but, and Regina's also getting used to this man. So it's, it's really cool. Lots of changes in Lots seven. of changes. I'm from another realm. Can't fight the power, right? Well, I'm starting to understand the whole Cinderella thing. Waiting for the perfect first sentence, but no story is perfect. The seventh season, Once Upon a Time, Friday nights only on ABC. And if you missed any of your ABC favorites, we can help you out. If you're